Surely heed me, O God. Turn your ear to me, hear my words. Guard me as the apple of your eye. In the shadow of your wings, protect me. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good morning, my beloved brothers and sisters in Christ. Good morning, Father. I welcome you all to this Eucharistic celebration. We are celebrating this Mass in a very special way for divine intervention in the situation of our country, Nigeria, especially with the case of the ongoing and the sacked protests and SWAT protests, restruct, restructure Nigeria protests, reform police protests, and police brutality protests, and so on and so forth. Especially with regards to Lagos state government declaring 24 hours coffee, which has generated a very serious crisis that so many people are losing their lives at gunpoint and gunshot. Prevention. We pray for God to manifest His power in our country, Nigeria. We pray for salvation of lives. We pray for arrest of hardened souls, hardened hearts, especially the heart of leaders and the politicians, so that 
we can hearken to the cries of the masses and uh, attend very quickly to the situation that is causing mayhem in our country. In this mass also, we remember all those who have booked mass for the month of October. We ask God to remember them and meet them at their various points of need. We pray also in a very special way for the following, who booked mass yesterday and today. Those we called their masses yesterday, we shall repeat it again today. Because yesterday, because of network, the transmission was not communicated to the online viewers. And those of them who booked mass could not hear or witness to their names mentioned on this altar, at least for once. So in this mass, we continue to pray for the following who booked mass yesterday the 20th of October. Chioma Yvonne, who is praying for business breakthrough. You carry her on here, praying for a successful heart surgery. Obi Anyogu Okonkwo, praying for divine healing, long life, and other special intentions. Reverend Sister Olivia Oluchi, praying for God to deliver Mrs. Blessing Ebube Awuzie from every form of spiritual attack in her life. Yesterday, we also prayed for repose of the souls of the faithful departed, especially relatives and members of the families of these Midnight Mass followers, especially the son of Mr. Ezurike and the sister of my friend, Father Oyekachi, in the person of Catherine Ugoke. We also prayed yesterday in a very special way for the thanksgiving to God for the life of very Reverend Father Lainu Sumori, CM, one of our Visation priests, who marked his birthday yesterday. We pray that God will bless him with fruitful ministry in the future and continue to use him to encourage young people every christian towards god as his special call as a, a clinical psychologist has been that of helping people Today, 21st of October 2020, the following booked mass. A Jim Grace is thanking God for his grace and mercy, God's protection, healing, breakthrough, open door, deliverance, and also praying for other special intentions. We remember in a very special way, Chin Oye, who is praying for God to intervene, to give her more contracts in Nigeria, to bless her with clean card as well as her daughter, and for other special intentions. Stella Maris Amaka is praying for God's protection, forgiveness of sins, healing, divine breakthrough, marital blessings upon her and her siblings. Restoration and speedy answer to the intentions of her mother, Mrs. Grace Ume, and for eternal repose of the soul of her late father, Jutadeus Madoka Ume. We pray in this mass for Mr. Mr. Chimezie Daniel Dewe and Mrs. Gladys Dewe, praying for God to grant them twins baby before the end of this year. Praying also for financial breakthrough, job breakthrough, and sound health. They also pray that God may grant them the grace to begin their 21 days fasting and prayer that I gave them. And to begin it and end it very successfully. 
in a very special way, I want to pray today for the soul, repose of the soul of Father Kevin. Father Kevin was at Mass yesterday, and at a point, there was Nepal outage, and for one reason, or for one reason or the other, or for reasons I do not know, he was the one who went to turn on the generator of his church. And the generator picked him up. And that was the beginning of the story that led to his death this morning. Monday morning. Or yesterday morning. It's a very painful death. The parish priest of St. Andrew, Ikorodu, whom I have severally gone to assist with masses on Sundays. I pray in this month that God may grant his soul eternal repose in heaven. He died in active service of the people of God. I pray that God may show him mercy and compassion for the sins known and the unknown that may be in his life and grant him eternal repose in the kingdom of heaven. Dear friends in Christ, I invite every one of you at this point in time to make your intentions known to God as well. Those online type in your intentions in the comment box or you can simply say my intentions are in this mass. Our faithful God will not fail us. No matter what we are seeing, no matter what is happening around us, God of Midnight Mass will not fail us. I thank God for what he is doing in the life of some people already. About two or three persons have delivered safely on account of the Mass or the prayers we are making here. Some people are healed of their sicknesses. Our brother, Lawrence James from Senegal, who booked mass about his brother last time, whom he considered Anya Hajia Hose on our family, who was at the point of death. That day he ran to me, called and he booked emergency mass. Father, midnight mass will not allow this my brother to go. And after that midnight mass that day, the following day, he called me and said, I called home this morning and he is highly better than yesterday and that was the, how he continued the recovering child of god i want you to continue believing god ten thousand may fall at your right twenty thousand at your left i tell you by the power of this midnight mass it will never reach you in the mighty name of jesus christ amen I confess to the Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my works, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May the Almighty God have mercy on us. May He forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty ever living God, grant that we may always conform our will to yours and serve your majesty in sincerity of heart. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. 
Brethren, I assume that you have heard of the stewardship of God's grace that was given to me for you, how the mystery was made known to me by revelations, as I have written briefly. When you read this, you can perceive my insight into the mystery of Christ, which was not made known to the sons of men in other generations, as it has now been revealed to his holy apostles and prophets by the Spirit. That is, how the Gentiles are fellow heirs, members of the same body, and partakers of the promise in Christ Jesus through the Gospel. Of this Gospel I was made a minister according to the gift of God's grace, which was given me by the working of his power. To me, though I am the very least of all the saints, this grace was given to preach to the Gentiles the unsearchable riches of Christ, and to make all men see what is the plan of the mystery hidden for ages in God who created all things. That is, that through the Church the manifold wisdom of God might now be made known to the principalities and powers in the heavenly places. This was according to the eternal purpose which he has realized in Christ Jesus our Lord, in whom we have boldness and confidence of access through our faith in him. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to, to God. God. With joy you will draw water from the wells of salvation. With joy you will draw water from the wells of salvation. Behold, God is my salvation. I will trust and I will not be afraid. For the Lord God is my strength and my song, and he has become my salvation. With joy you will draw water from the wells of salvation. Joy, you withdraw water from the wells of salvation. Give thanks to the Lord. Call upon his name. Make known his deeds among the nations. Proclaim that his name is exalted. Withdraw, you withdraw water from the wells of salvation. Sing praises to the Lord, for he has done gloriously. Let this be known in all the earth. Shout and sing for joy, O inhabitants of Zion, for great in your midst is the Holy One of Israel. We joy you withdraw water from the wells of salvation. Gospel acclamation. Hallelujah for the Lord God, O many potent reigners. Hallelujah, hallelujah, praise the Lord. Hallelujah for the Lord God, O many potent renet. Hallelujah, hallelujah, praise the Lord. Watch, therefore, and be ready. The Son of Man is coming at an hour you do not expect. Hallelujah, Hallelujah for the Lord God, O many potent reigneth. Hallelujah, Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Hallelujah, Hallelujah for the Lord God, O many potent reigneth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory be to you, O Lord. Luke's Gospel, chapter 12, from verse 39 to 48. At that time, Jesus said to his disciples, Know this, that if the householder had known at what hour the thief was coming, he would have 
been awake, I would not have left his house to be broken into. You also must be ready, for the Son of Man is coming at an hour you do not expect. Peter said, Lord, are you telling this parable for us or for all? And the Lord said, Who then is the faithful and wise steward, who is, whom his master will set over his household, to give them their portion of food at the proper time? Blessed is that servant, whom his master, when he comes, will find so doing. Truly, I tell you, he will set him over all his possession. But if that servant says to himself, My master is delayed in coming, and begins to beat the men servants and the maid servants, and to eat and drink and get drunk, the master of that servant will come on a day when he does not expect, and at an hour he does not know, I will punish him and put him with the unfaithful. And that servant who knew his master's will, but did not make ready or act according to his will, shall receive a severe beating. But he who did not know and did what he deserved, what deserved a beating, shall receive a light beating. Everyone to whom much is given, of him will much be required. And of him to whom men commit much, they will demand the more. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise be to you, Lord Jesus Christ. By the hearing of this Gospel, may our sins be blotted out. Amen. Glory be to Jesus. And Lord to Mary. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, Whenever the Lord comes to us, it is always to save us from the forces of evil, be them physical or spiritual. The Lord, Lord comes to free us not only from pain and external aggression, but also from our own greed and pride. The question we need to ask ourselves today is in what way does the Lord come to us? And if we look or reflect very deeply into that question, we will find out that He comes to us through the church, He comes to us through our friends, through our neighbors, and all that happens to us in this world. Everything that happens in our life is an avenue of God reaching out to us. And He speaks to us in a very special way through them. All that we, we need to do is to be alert so that when the master signals at us, we will be able to respond promptly and properly. Which we should not stand before the Lord unprepared on the judgment throne on the last day. For the word of God made it clear today that the disciple who knows his duties and performs them diligently, will be rewarded greatly, whereas the one who, know, who knows but did not perform them diligently 
but is unfaithful and reckless about them will be condemned to death. In the face of the crisis of our country, Nigeria, those of us who are Nigerians and those of us who are concerned with what is going on should be very, very careful so that the right thing we want to do, we will not do it the wrong way. And those of us who are in the helm of affairs, the leaders, governors and president should also be very, very alert. God is talking to each of the groups, talking to the people, talking to all of us. The hardness of the heart of the president and the governors and the politicians in the face of the protest is talking to every one of us Nigerians that next time when we are doing an election, we should be very careful. We should not allow 2,000, 1,000, 3,000 to make us sell our integrity. We should vote rightly, even if they rig the election. Let us stand out the way we stood out to protest, the youth stood out to pro protest. Let everyone stand out to do what? To vote the right person and not be influenced by tribal sentiment, religious sentiment, financial bribery and the corruption. At the same time, the leaders are being spoken to we must eschew pride, our ego, and so on and so forth. You don't just look at the protest and then you open mouth and declare 24 hours coffee without thinking about what could be the con consequence. Of course, it has to be enforced. And who is going to enforce it? Police brutality. Who is going to enforce it? SARS. Because the governor is not in command of soldiers. Even if you are, what if the people that are on the street refuse to go? Will you kill all of them? Lake Togate is a case study. Shooting down at your children. For what reason? Because you want to show that you are powerful. You have declared 24 hours coffee. Then everybody, everybody must keep to eat. That becomes a whole lot of lack of insight. I pray that God will minister to the leaders of this country. I know The statement is that we cannot stand and say who drops take over the the uh, turn our state to a state of uh, nature. But what is the method you have used to approach it? Since protests began, how many times did you come out as a governor to address these youths? You were there in your house and suddenly you declare 24 hours coffee. To use it to despair them, to send them out of the street. I'm not at the same time saying that the youths that are protesting and they suddenly allowed themselves to be used in causing calamity in the society by burning police stations, you know, robbing here and there, it's not. I'm not approving their action, but at the same time, as a wise man, these are young people. You should have sat down and see what is on top of the Iroko tree. And be careful about your approach. Instead of using it, not entering, entering an armored car vehicle, shooting gun at people who are not carrying gun. There are a lot of things God will judge. The way we rule our people matters a lot. Others we give.
the youth that turned to junior sars because they became brutal, especially those who killed the policeman. It's very terrible. But then in the face of all this, we call on God to intervene in our situation. May God have mercy on our country, Nigeria. May God have mercy on Lagos State and its governance. May the grace of God see us through. We pray in this Mass for God to intervene because a lot of people are preparing for what we do not know tomorrow or today. But I pray that by the special divine intervention in this Mass, the devil will never succeed. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. May God bless his word in our hearts. And grant us the grace to keep believing in him. Trusting him. Even in the face of crisis. And the obvious aggression. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and good of all his holy church. Grant us Lord we pray the essential respect for your gifts that through the purifying action of your grace we may be cleansed by the very mysteries we serve. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, so also through him with great goodness you formed it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore we too extol you with all the angels, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore this gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like they do fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. 
At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. My Lord and my God, my Lord and my God. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and drink from me, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. My Lord and my God, have mercy on me. My Lord and my God, have mercy on me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have heard us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope and our Fred Martins, our Archbishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters whom you have called from this world to yourself. Father Kelvin, Mrs. Catherine Ugoke, and all those who have lost their lives in the ongoing protests and crises in, the, in our country, Nigeria. Grant that they who we are united with their son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, our Holy Spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be called heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. 
For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church all over the world and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit, Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Amen. I surrender all. I surrender all to thee, my blessed Savior. I surrender. I surrender all. brothers and sisters who follow this mass online let us say the art of spiritual communion art of spiritual communion art of spiritual communion my jesus my jesus i believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament i believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament i love you above all things i love you above all things and i desire to receive you into my soul and i desire to receive you into my soul since I cannot receive you sacramentally now, since I cannot receive you sacramentally now, come at least spiritually into my heart. 
Come at least spiritually into my heart. Those who are online, type in, in the comment box, Come at least spiritually into my heart. Or you can simply write, Lord Jesus, come into my heart. Come into my heart, Lord Jesus. Come in today. Come in to stay. Come in to my heart, Lord Jesus. I embrace you as if you were already there. Embrace you as if you already did. I unite myself to you. I unite myself to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. As the concluding prayer is going on, those who are following the Mass online, you begin to share the Mass. Share the Mass, share the Word of God, share the Holy Eucharist. Let it go viral, let it go to the whole world. Somebody may be consoled by this Mass. A lot of our brothers and sisters who are not able to go to church, they depend so much on the Masses that are celebrated online. Share it and let it come across to them. Grant, O oh Lord, we pray, that benefiting from the participation in the heavenly things, we may be helped by what you give in this present age, and prepared for the gifts that are eternal, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory be to Jesus. Honor to Mary. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, those who have not subscribed to our YouTube channel should please do so. Our YouTube channel is Chukudio Mimi Adoration TV. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and God will bless you as you do so in Jesus' name. Amen. Today is 21st of October 2020. We are drawing close to the end of the month and we have started booking mass for the new month. If you want to book mass for the month of November, the eleventh month of the year. I want you, child of God, no matter what you are seeing happening in Nigeria or all over the world, you should never lose hope. God can still change that situation in your life before the end of this year. Book your mass for the month of November. Ask God for eleventh hour miracle. Our God is the God of eleventh hour. Ask him to meet you at a time when it seems all hope is lost. God will never abandon you. If you want to book mass for the month of November, just send a message to our Facebook messenger. I want to book mass. Send a message to the messenger of this page. I want to book mass. My WhatsApp is on the Facebook. Send message there. I want to book mass. My Number, MTN number is on Facebook. Go there and send a message. I want to book mass. Within a short time, you shall get a response. Either by myself, from myself, or from one of my secretaries. On how to book mass. Book midnight mass for the month of November. You can book midnight mass for your family, for your friends, for yourself, or for our country, Nigeria, or for the country where you are living or for the situation of other people. There are different reasons why we can book Mass. Child of God, subscribe to Midnight Mass. Midnight Mass will settle the matter. I believe strongly in what God can do in our lives through this Midnight Mass. And that is why we cannot go back on it. We have started it and we will get to its logical conclusion. God will surely remember you by your connection to this particular Midnight Mass platform. It's a global Midnight Mass family. 
And I tell you that your family will never regret from belonging to this special family in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Book your mask now, send a message, and do that, and God will bless you through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Before I end, I solicit that every one of us who are under the sound of my voice at this hour, say one our Father, and the three Hail Mary, and the one glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, for the intentions of our country, Nigeria, for God, God's intervention in this our country, Nigeria. Today, people who can fast, fast 6 a.m. to 12 noon for this country. This country, Nigeria, is turning to something else. Let us pray for this country. Every wicked stone that is blocking the grave of progress in our country must be rolled away so that this country will resurrect and rise to another level. Child of God, let us pray. Let us make it a day of prayer today. It, the devil is planning to be a day of bloodshed. May we turn it to a day of prayer. One our Father, three Hail Mary, and one glory be for the intention of this country today. I declare that prayer, child of God. Do it with me. Those of us who are strong, fast along with me. 6 to 12. Let us begin that way. And I know that God will surely intervene. Let us pray on behalf of our country, Nigeria. Those of us outside the country, Nigeria, join us in prayer. You will come home and have peace. If the house is not okay, you will not come home. May God bless all of us. May God bless this midnight community. May God grant every one of us our desires. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Father, you could do me wishing all of you well. You will not die before your time. Amen. Your family members will not die before their time. Amen. Those who are planning for war, the war will not work in Jesus' name. Amen. God will surely save this country. Amen. God will save our country. Amen. God will save our families. Amen. And I also pray for the reform of this country. God will reform Nigeria in Jesus' name. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May the gracious blessings of the Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down upon you and remain with you both now and forever. Amen. This Mass is ended. Go forth in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. Give us the grace to follow, abundant grace to follow. Give us the grace to follow, your grace is enough for us. Give us the grace to follow, abundant grace to follow. Give us the grace to follow. Your grace is enough for us. Prayer after Mass. Bless, O oh Lord, Lord, our hearts and mind, and grant that as we leave your house, we may continue to be aware of your presence through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Saint Vincent de Paul. Pray for us. Saint Justin de Jacobi. Pray for us. Saint Louis Maria de Marillac. Pray for us. Our Lady Queen of Nigeria. Pray for us. Our Lady Queen of Nigeria. Pray for us. Our Lady Queen of the whole world. Pray for us. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Let us go in the peace of Christ. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.